Yo, what is up? So, in the new update, Christmas Part 2, there is a hoverboard that you can get. Oh, well, it's gone. There used to be one there. But pretty much, if you complete the quests, I believe you get a hoverboard, which uh, it was there before the update, but it seems to be gone. This one, the Rudolph hoverboard. Complete the 2022 Christmas event. So, yeah, I'm going to show you. going to go through all the challenges. Hope this helps. Make sure you drop a like. You subscribe because I'm giving away huge pets. Make sure you comment down your username. I will be giving them out, but just at the moment, the, the gift system is disabled. As soon as that's enabled, I'll be able to give out loads of uh, huge pets again. All right, let's start. So, the first challenge is find today's elf on the shelf. Now, this is one, this is the one that's going to be confusing for people watching this in the future because the elf on the shelf is a little elf that spawns around the map and it changes every 24 hours so once you're watching this you can come and check the location where it's currently at but like i said it changes its location every 24 hours so if you're watching it a few days later just google like where the the new location is but for the people that are playing on update day it is currently in the void so let me claim that uh, little elf it gives you a ton of rewards boosts and some coins and then it should just disappear and you have completed the christmas event quest one Yay, looks like the elf actually stays there. I thought he disappeared. But yeah, in 24 hours, he'll change location. Somewhere random. It's random every time. Right, let's go back to the Wonderland. Find out what quest number two is. So quest number two is break 100 candy canes. Right, so I'm not going to lie. I was a little confused on where the candy canes are. But then one literally just spawned. So these are the candy canes. They spawn in the Christmas world, but they don't seem very common. Right, let's break this before someone else finds me and breaks it. We're going to break the candy cane. I'm guessing that's going to count as a few. Oh, oh, wow. No, it only counted as one. So you need to break 100 candy canes. That's quite, uh, that's going to be quite difficult, isn't it? <laughs> gonna break a hundred of those things i'm guessing rotating server is the best way All right so i've been informed the best way to get the candy canes is actually to keep rotating server as you can see now if you've got a vip this is going to be really good you know like it's going to be really quick for you if you've got a vip server if you don't have a vip it's gonna be a lot harder but you can still do this just rotate server try and find one that's got empty uh well empty with zero players and you'll get loads of candy canes so i'm gonna get uh, even with doing this this is still gonna take absolute ages but because i swear last year like because they're a bunch like you see how there's technically free here i'm pretty sure they did it so that that counted as free before but it looks like they've uh they've not done that this year like it actually just counts as one is kind of a pain i won't lie but yeah pretty much the fastest way to do this challenge is to just keep rotating server because i don't think they don't spawn that quickly if they even spawn at all we'll have a look in a second i don't even think they respawn by the looks of things did i miss that one yeah i genuinely don't think they even respawn so i think you you have to keep restarting server yeah by the looks of it yeah you have to keep restarting so oh no actually there's some over here oh no i guess they are kind of respawning a bit obviously you get an absolute ton when you just get into a fresh server so beautiful there's another one yeah what i recommend is keep uh, changing server if you've got a vip of your own keep refreshing it that's what i'm about to go do actually what i'm doing instead of refreshing my vip because there is a few people playing on it i kind of feel bad just restarting it i'm just joining random like vip servers that like my friends my roblox friends have so this is working pretty well well i say that but there's nothing spawning in okay yeah so just join even if you don't have a vip of your own join your friend's vip and you can still get uh, still get tons. Because obviously everyone in the game right now is trying to get these things. So if you're in a public server, it's going to be really difficult to get these. It's going to take you a lot longer. But yeah, VIP seems to be working the best. We still have to get 100. Whoa, it's just a singular one there. Still going to get 100. So th this, this could honestly take me quite a while. And I don't recommend leaving the server instantly. Because for a while, they do kind of respawn a bit. So just make sure you're definitely breaking the ones. And then... Yeah, by looks of it, it comes to a point where like they're just not even respawning anymore. This is when you change server. How many have I got? I've got 34. Okay, so we're making some progress. Here we are. We're back in a random new VIP. Are they still counting as one? Because I don't feel like I've broken 37 of them. I feel like sometimes they may count as two. No, I guess they are only counting as one every time I check. There we go. There's no one. I think there's three more left in this server. And then I'm just going to keep changing. Go back over there. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm not broken them. Make sure you break them. Obviously, you don't want to do half the damage and then not finish it right this server kind of sucks there was not that many in this server right so i've been farming the candy canes for a while and i only need three more oh apparently i get 25 triple coin boosts that's pretty cool right let's do how many do i need more oh so i need six more right six more it should pop up on the screen once i do it hopefully that's enough imagine there's not enough I think there's just enough, actually. I think after I break this one, come on, please. Oh, there is a few more. Okay, nice. We did it. You completed the 
Christmas event quest number two. Go over here, let's check it out. So, participate in Santa Paul's event. Wow, that is interesting. Santa Paul's event. I think that happens every like four hours or something. So yeah so yeah i'm back in my main vip it says participate in the center pause event so like i said it's kind of this one is kind of just luck i suppose or i don't know well not really luck but you've just pretty much you've just got to wait so you've got to be patient for the the santa pause event now I, I don't know exactly when they happen so you've kind of just got to wait on the game for a while i i think they happen every like four hours or something like that. They're, they're, they're not too... It's not like impossible to get in the events. You know, they're pretty common. But yeah, literally all you got to do is just participate. So even if you're AFK, just go AFK actually, I guess. That's probably the best way to do it. AFK in this area. And then uh, by the time you come back, you know, a few hours later, you should have participated. Because I don't. You, you literally don't even need to do much. You just be in this area when the Santa Paws is here. So yeah, I'll try and look out for that and get in the... Uh, try and see the Santa Paws. And also the hoverboard's back now. I'm, I'm guessing that was like a glitch before. But yes, I've got to wait for this event. Yo, finally. The Santa Paws event. It is actually happening, I think. Visit this Christmas world now. Yeah, oh, yeah, there he is. Yes, finally. I don't know why, but this took ages for the Santa Paws to arrive. Oh my goodness. I don't even really care about the rewards. Oh, wait, it's giving me an egg. Okay, I got a festive belt. But yeah, that's all I cared about was this. You know what I'm saying? The the, the event, uh, the quest. But it's actually done now, which is pretty cool. So now the next Christmas quest, you have to find 20 hidden presents. Now these things are all over the map. I don't think, they're not too difficult to find, I don't think. And they actually look like that. They're the red ones. So yeah, there's 20 around the map and I'm pretty much just going to go everywhere and just try and find them. What you've kind of got I do to find these presents is they will because i've already found eight so i can't show you exactly where every single location is although actually you know what actually okay i'm gonna you know i'm gonna show every single location for these presents so if you've not found all of the 20 presents i'm actually gonna like look up on google and i'm gonna show you i'm gonna make it like hassle free for you so it's like really easy this is gonna be kind of a pain for me right so of course some of the presents are missing for me but the first present is right here next to this red house and this white tree. It'll be positioned right there in the spawn world. The second location is going to be exactly in the spawn world again, but on the opposite side between this red and this green house. And it'll be right there. Obviously, I've already found that one, so I can't actually see it. The third one is at the tech entry. And I don't think I found this one before. Nope, here it is right here. Tech entry, boom. That is the third one I found. Well, the third one of the tutorial. Right, the fourth one that I'm going to show you is at the cave area right at the end. And it is in this corner right here. It would be positioned right here. Just where the... Uh the first regular big chest is just in this corner. The next one I'm going to show you is going to be at the fantasy portals and it is right here. As soon as you get to the portals, just turn right and it should be right here in this little corner area. The next one is at Candy Island. So make sure you go over to the Candy Island and it is hidden right behind this chocolate bar. This one's kind of hidden. I've not even gotten this one myself. So make sure we get that. Boom. We have a, another one at the Hell Island. So make sure you go to Hell Island. It's at the Fantasy Worlds. And it is hidden behind this rock right here. There we go. Boom. The next location is at the Heavens Island. So make sure you go to Heavens Island. And it is actually behind one of these smaller big chests. There it is on the right side. So we will claim you. Thank you. Now this next one is at the Dark Tech right next to the Dark Matter Machine. And it is actually positioned right here on the right side of the Dark Matter Machine. It will be right there in that corner. The next one is at the Steampunk Chest in Tech World. So go to the steampunk. It is just over here. This one's pretty obvious. You know, it's in the open. Just claim that. Right. So the next present is in the alien lab and it is on this green goo, which I believe is on the left side. And it's just behind this one. This one's kind of hidden. So make sure you claim that. There we go. 14 out of 20 now. I'm almost done. The next one to check is actually in the void. So let's go over to the void area and it's near the hardcore building. So let's have a look. Yeah, right behind the hardcore building. There it is in all its glory. Now, this next one is located at the Axolotl Cave. So make sure you go there and then there it is literally right next to it. The Axolotl Cave. Collect you. The next location is at the Pixel Vault. Click the Pixel Vault. And it is on the right side. This one is kind of hidden behind this like money stack. There we go. Claim that. The next location is at Cat Paradise. And it is located just behind this cannon. There we go. I found you. You actually get tons of boost from doing this, by the way. So it's like actually pretty good. Next location is Cat 
Tiega, Tiega, I think. Is that, you spell that? Is that how you pronounce that? Tiega, I guess. So yeah, go to the basically the area with the blue trees. On the right side, you can kind of already see it. Pretty obvious because it's red and it's like in blue trees. Next to the waterfall. And there we go. Wow. So now I'm at the Christmas event. I'm just in the, the Wonderland area. And there will be a present right here. Now, this one's really obvious. You probably have already got that one uh, done. There is also a present that is in the secret... Uh, well, it's not really a secret. It's in one of these red houses. I don't actually know which one, but it will be on the front of one of these red houses somewhere. I've already claimed this one, so I actually really don't know. Just make sure you come here, check all the red houses. There will be a present in one of them. Well, not even inside. You'll be able to see it on the front like porch. So another one that I kind of missed is at winter. If you click the winter teleport, there'll be this little house. And it's actually in this corner right here. Now, I believe this is the final one at Ancient Island click the the teleport button and this one is kind of the one that's the most hidden i think it's like behind here there it is this one is uh kind of tricky to find but yeah i believe that should be my last one and now i've got 20 out of 20 and i think did i just get this pet i think i just got a free pet must have had you all this time i don't think so i think i literally just got you so that's pretty cool and yep i just completed my quest as well i kind of missed it view you star code view completed the christmas event hashtag four yes we did it right so now i'm teleporting back to the wonderland to see what my other challenge is so oh wow break 1000 <laughs> well this is crazy break 1250 candy canes wow now that is kind of crazy i won't lie that is so many right so this is gonna be so we're obviously gonna have to go back to the previous method on where we was breaking like or where we we're restarting the servers by like loads right so it looks like we have to get a vip again because this is even more i think it wasn't it 100 before so this is gonna take a while to do but uh, i guess we'll, we'll get it done and i think this might be the final quest at least so i'll grind this out you know i've already, you've already shown i've already shown me doing it so uh, yeah i'll get this done yeah so just in case you didn't watch it or you know i don't know maybe you skipped over that part but basically the way i'm getting the candy canes is you just go into any vip oh make sure you got your pets on that would uh that would help just go into any vip preferably one that has zero players in or just try and find an empty server what you can also do is just put, uh, put your pets to single so you can like put them on like that i don't know if that will i guess that will help a bit and yeah empty vips are the best way and i think you don't even need to fully restart them you just need to rejoin because if there's no one's in the server then it kind of restarts itself you know and then you just keep Keep farming all the candy canes. 1,250. I'm not going to lie. That is quite a lot. So this may take a while. Oh, that is a lot of diamonds right there. 100 times. Wow. That's pretty cool. So yeah, this is how I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to literally restart the server. And I'm going to do this like probably about 100 times by the looks of it. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you back when we get really close to completing this. Right. So just a quick update because it has actually been hours since, you last, since I last did uh, some recording on this. And basically... What I was doing is I was changing server, right? I kept changing server to restart it, you know, so I could get fresh candy canes. But what I've figured out is that method, when it gets down to this stage and you need to get 1,250 of them, it just takes way too long, right? I probably spent like an hour or something doing that and I only got to like 400. It was getting like really tedious and really uh, annoying. But then I sort of came up with a new strategy, which definitely give this a go. So... If you have an auto clicker, right, just set it so it clicks really quick. Make sure your pet sending is on single. So, you know, obviously it'll be on all, but then set it to single. This method is so much faster, it actually kind of hurts. The fact that I spent so long just constantly rotating servers. So turn on your auto clicker and literally just sit here doing this. And this method is so much faster. Basically, you want to break the stuff that is here, even though obviously there'll be no candy canes, but you want to break the stuff so that it sort of forces it to respawn. Now, one other thing, I wouldn't recommend going in the other areas doing this just because, I mean, you'll get some that spawn that you want to quickly break. But I wouldn't recommend the other areas because obviously the, the stuff's got more damage, so it could take longer to break and it doesn't really matter. One way you can do it to sort of AFK, I don't, my game's like lagged. I'm not sure what's going on. My game has completely lagged. Wow, that is weird. What you want to do is you want to, this is how, you, this is literally how I did it. I just AFK'd. Turn on your auto clicker and then with your left or right arrow key, just hold your arrow key down. So you're literally just clicking, right? And then all of your pets, they're going to go and break everything around you. And it is just beautiful. 
you, you'll, you'll notice after a while you're going up so many candy coins that it's kind of crazy. So you definitely recommend just AFK spinning in a circle, breaking all the stuff. Like I said, I'd recommend this area and not the areas down there because this stuff breaks really easy. And uh, yeah, this server has, I don't know what happened, but it's like really laggy now. But it looks like to my surprise, we still have, we still have another Christmas quest. Number six, and it is the Grinch, the Grinch event. Oh man, this is, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that was gonna be the final one. So it looks like we're still going. Now I need to wait again for the, the Grinch event. Wow. Right, finally. So the Grinch event, which is my final event. No, my final quest. Well, I'm hoping it's the final quest. Anyway, let's, let's break. All I need to do is participate in a Grinch. Wait, what just happened? Oh no, it's not even the, the final one. Uh, I was going to say, all I need to do is finish, um, well, participate in a Grinch event. And I just completed quest number six. But now I need to open 500 Christmas eggs. Okay, actually, wait, that's pretty easy. 500 Christmas eggs. Oh, that will be done in no time. So it looks like there's going to be 10 quests then. Hopefully the next few are quite easy because, yeah, I've been doing this for quite a while now. I'm not going to lie. I didn't expect it to take this long to do all these uh, quests. But yeah. The Grinch cat. That was a pretty easy one. Do I, I might as well break all of these now. I'm like the only person online in my VIP. It's like really early in the morning right now too. Oh, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll come back from. Oh, yeah, this is definitely the best way to do the Grinch event is just put your pets to single and then literally just plop them all on like this. So right, beautiful. Now that's done. All right. Yeah, 500 eggs. I was opening some over there, but I couldn't even see how many I was doing. So I'm literally just going to do this egg and I can like see how many I've done. Hopefully I can't even see the number from here. But yeah, thankfully this challenge is really easy. Right. So any second now I'm going to be finishing the quest that requires you to do 500 eggs. Like I said, this, this one's really easy. It's pretty much, you know, and you can open Oh no, you need to do any Christmas egg. There we go. Done. So now we're on this break. 50 gingerbread chests. Oh, these 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 quests are beautiful. This, these ones are so easy to do. So 50. I'm just going to do this one because obviously it's the easiest one to break. So 50 of these bad boys. Oh, wait, let me turn my pets back onto all. So this one shouldn't take too long either. You know what? Just to speed this up, I'm actually going to go into the void and turn on triple damage. Yep, this is really happening. Right. So it is officially the next day. It is actually Christmas. So Merry Christmas to everybody. I know I, I kind of should have said it earlier on in the video, but when I was doing the earlier stuff, off. It was Christmas Eve, but now it's officially Christmas and I have completed the challenges. Okay. I kind of just went AFK when breaking the golden ones and then just like fell asleep. That's pretty much what happened. But basically I have completed all the quests. Hopefully I can't even remember if I recorded it, but the 10th quest was break 10 golden gingerbread chests. And obviously I got that done and now we've done it. We, we can claim our reward. There it is in all its glory. I'm not sure. I, I, I'm assuming that there's some sort of animation or something when you complete it that it gives you the hoverboard. But obviously, I sort of missed it because I was AFK. But oh, wait. Oh, I've already got it equipped. Oh, cool. So here, this is actually my first look at it. Wow, there it is. There is the, the Rudolph. Is it Rudolph? I think so. He's got a red nose. The Rudolph hoverboard. Let's actually check what it's called. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's literally, it's called the Rudolph Hoverboard. Nice, I, I nailed that. Complete the 2022 Christmas event. Nice, dude. I'm going to try and get every single Christmas hoverboard. <laughs> like you watch, like in, in, in 2050, I'm, I'm going to be there still grinding out the hoverboards, <laughs> which would be kind of crazy if it went on that long. Like, imagine like, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to say that it could happen, but imagine like this game survives another 20 years. Imagine genuinely having a hoverboard that's like 20 years old. It would be kind of insane. But obviously, you know, I'm not, <laughs> I don't think Pet Sim X is going to last that long. Maybe like Pet Sim 25 or some or Pet Sim 100 potentially, but yeah, pretty cool. Obviously it animates down there with a the little animation. That is pretty nice. It's just, it's Rudolph, but he's like squished. It's like he's been in one of those like compressor things. Just squished it down. His little tail at the end there. It's pretty cool. Can't lie. It's more, it's more like a collector's piece. Let's test the speed of it too. How fast do you even go with this thing? Um, so it doesn't, I don't know why they do this. Like why is, all hoverboards should be the same speed. I don't understand why they're different speeds. Cause look, look how slow I am with this hoverboard, right? But then if I go with the high tech one, this one is so much faster. I mean, I guess it makes sense cause of the name, it is a high tech hoverboard, but it just kind of sucks. You know, like I want to use the new Christmas one, but this one is like the fastest one. So look, dude, oh my God, you can instantly tell the difference of speed. Watch, I'm going to put this on. Can we zoom in away, right? And then what, as soon as I put that on, it's like I just, it's like I just get stopped instantly. Crazy, the difference. Hopefully they can fix that and make every hoverboard the same speed. So I want to use this one, obviously, because it's the new and cool one, but it's not that fast. It's a bit of a pain, but 
you know. But uh, yeah, hopefully this, hopefully this helps you. Hopefully you can get this hoverboard. The challenges, they do take a while, but uh, I guess it's worth it in the end because you get this, this sweet hoverboard. So yeah, appreciate you. Merry Christmas.